This video will show how to use the free online graphing calculator below to determine normal distribution probabilities. Given a data set is normally distributed, determine the probability that a randomly selected data value has a z-score in the given interval. Give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places and a percent to one decimal place. For a quick review, a z-score or standard score is the number of standard deviations a specific data value is from the mean of the distribution. If we plot z-scores on a normal distribution, it is called the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that always has a population mean of zero and a population standard deviation of one. When using the free online graphing calculator, we use a notation shown below to determine normal distribution probabilities, where we enter normal CDF, and then in parentheses we have a comma b comma mean comma the standard deviation to determine the probability that x is greater than a and less than b. And the mean and standard deviation are optional. If we leave those off by default, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one, which means the x value would be a z-score, which is our case. So first we want to find the probability that z is greater than 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 is going to be the value of a, for B, the upper bound, we'll have to exaggerate some large positive value. So let's go to our free online graphing calculator, again, linked below. This calculator does have quite a few features. We are only using the calculation part of the calculator at the bottom of the screen. So we click in the type and expression cell at the very bottom left, and we type in normal, CDF, open parenthesis, Again, because we're looking for the probability that z is greater than 0.2, the lower bound for the z-score is 0.2, comma. For the upper bound, I'm going to exaggerate and enter 99,999. And again, because we have z-scores, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one, so we can leave the mean and standard deviation off, type in close parenthesis and click enter. And notice how if we do the same thing, and specify a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, we do get the same result. To three decimal places, the probability is approximately 0 0.421, which is the percentage is 42.1%. For part B, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.1. So now negative 1.1 is going to be the upper bound of the value of B, we'll have to exaggerate a very small negative number for the lower bound, or A. So going back to the calculator, we once again enter normal, CDF, open parenthesis. For the lower bound, I'm going to use negative 99,999, comma, the upper bound is negative 1.1, close parenthesis. Again, because we have z-scores, we can leave off the mean of zero and standard deviation of one. Click enter three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.136, which is equal to 13.6%. For part C, we want to find the probability the z-score is greater than negative 2 and less than 1.4. So now A is going to be negative 2 and B is 1.4. Enter normal, CDF, open parenthesis, negative two comma 1.4, close parenthesis, click enter. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.896, which is equal to 89.6%. Before we go, let's go back to the calculator. We can find the function normal CDF under the help menu by clicking help, and then function references, and scrolling down under statistical functions, here we have the normal CDF function as well as others. I hope you found this helpful.